Here's a brief demonstration of the multiple grids and multiple masking layers that are available in lighting reality. So we have a simple uh, calculation grid. I've done a bit of a lighting design and uh, we have some contours. And um, so we're going to start off by uh, doing some masking. So I go into the edit masks, blank the area out, and then I'm going to cut out the area of interest which I do with a polyline. With a very quick calculation grid around this area here. And right click to finish. So in this area here, we have all the points, the results, and we're starting to get an indication of the uh, quality figures for the uh, for the area, um, let's take a quick look at the um, set set grid up. I've called it contours, but um, I'm going to change the color of it to blue. Um, actually, we'll go with grey. And you can see here that the masking is set to masking layer one, which is the um, the default. So I'm now going to create a new another new grid. It appears to the bottom right hand corner. Set area to DXF limits, select area using mouse, and zoom in on the area of interest, which is the junction um, at the entrance to the site. Increase the number of grid points. I'm going to call it uh, junction. I'm going to change the color to red. Um, and as you can see now, the, um, the results are starting to contribute to this area here that we've already defined. So the area marked in grey is the, um, the site itself, whereas the junction, we don't want these, these figures here to appear um, on the grid. So we select layer 2, and that makes all of this grid now available for um, consideration in the results in the corner. <clears throat> I'm just going to close that, turn that off, turn the results on. Again, I'm going to blank the grid out and then go through and cut out the results area that I'm specifically interested in. Right click to finish. So I shall create another grid. I'm going to do this little road that goes down here. Uh, and we can do this using the edit tools and I can take the existing uh, grid I've created here and duplicate it and then move it I can then rotate it around the edge and then stretch it so I can get it to fit the area that is um, my area of interest which is going to be this little road that runs down here to the bottom grid as small as possible, don't need to be any bigger than it actually is. Um, again, edit the grid, change the number of points, I'm going to change the colour, I'm going to make this one green, and we're going to call this um, row 2. I'm going to leave it set as masking layer 1, and then go into the masking tool. So, again, blank out, and then cut out the area of interest that we want to consider within the quality figures in the top right hand corner. And there we go. So, as a summary of the, um, the numbers that are um, the colorings here that we have, areas that are blue are excluded from all calculation grids. Areas that are white are available on masking layer one. As you remember, if you recall, this is set to masking layer one here. Areas that are green are available for consideration on masking layer 1 but excluded on masking layer 2 and areas that are yellow are available on masking layer 2 
but excluded from masking layer one. Hope you found this useful. Please drop me an email to mail at nicksmithassociates.com if you have. Thanks, bye.